Hi, I'm George Bureau and I'm working for Barclay Regional Arts. I am the visual art coordinator. My job is about making all the artists of the Barclay working together. So here, you know, I help the ladies to set up their studio space, mix paints, get the ready, canvases ready, and also I provide service for the artwork here and Outbush. Yeah, just, just try to sing. 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. Yeah, fifth. So it's my fifth uh, Desert Harmony this year. And uh, for the 30th anniversary of Desert Harmony, we have decided to bring in an outsider artist named Wayne Elliott that has been very supportive for Barclay Regional Arts and all artists in Barclay. He has been the one that has been presenting our works and promoting what we're doing for many years. There's, there's, there's one of the keys, there's Alan's key. Alan's key. Oh, yeah. And there's a pink house. And, ah, yeah. pink palace, the pink house. Yeah. And that was the thing that first caught my eye about Barclay Arts was the everyday narratives that they create, whether it's going down the street, whether it's going to a waterhole, whether it's uh, other things that involve everyday things they're doing. And, that, and they depict that in a really raw, but really uh, everyday view. So it, it's great art, yeah. The other part that, I, that interests me is the, a lot of the skills that come out of the art that we talk about from a learning perspective is as the artists are painting, they're problem solving as they go. They're creating images, they're learning from maybe making mistakes in the artwork, but then improving them, trying to learn through aspects of that. And I would say even my own arts practice is very much about that. It's finding your own way of doing things, your own processes, your own, and I think the process side of it, whether you're taking photographs and bring those back in or doing our sketches. Like we went out yesterday, we did some sketches in the landscape, whereby the ladies would bring that back and, and then transpose those into, into artworks. Coming in an art centre, doing painting together, leaving aside a bit, you know, the most traditional part of the culture, but just opening their mind on different stories, like we say about ducks for Gladys or the station, uh, for Andrew Cross, Andrew Cross with Aliawara, you know. Gladys Anderson that has a background of Waramungu and Susanna Nelson that is with Walmampa artist too. Bring uh, all people, all language together. And that's why here in Tenant Creek, the artist choose the name Tatukula. Tatukula artist means everybody together. Everybody, you know, beyond the differences, beyond their way of um, speaking, of the culture, of the land. They still come together in this safe place to paint. Yeah, I, I know from our perspective in taking the art to Poland that uh, there was over 30,000 people went through that gallery and their work was really appreciated and lots of people had the opportunity to see Central, you know, Barclay Arts overseas and their naive art paintings um, with narratives of, of local life and everyday life, which people wouldn't understand normally, so or have the opportunity to see. So it was a great opportunity. This painting, it's about the pebbles. Just liven up, walk around the countryside and like go and look around or go hunting. Did it, um, country just you feel it and it come into us and make us strong. Sometimes when it get late it, when the sun go down them girls, them wild ladies come out they sort of um, connected to this country. They live there all the time. Wild ones, you know? Wild ladies from that land where they always live there. But sometimes they come out at night. So but like spirits? Spirits, you know, like jealous over the country. Though. Sometimes they talk and growl and get 
hunt you away from that, make you go away from the country too. A bit jealous. I, I think one of the most important things that I've found in doing this artwork for the Barclay uh, Arts community is that it's really just being a matter of being with the people sitting in the landscape, everyone drawing at the same time. Nothing needs to be said, nothing needs to be spoken about, but it's that opportunity to sit with other people and paint uh, in a landscape that's quite unique here in Barclay. Uh, with the Tablelands, it's one of the, it, it, for me, it, as an artist, it, I respond to it very quickly. And obviously the artwork I've created reflects what, I, what I've seen and what I've felt in terms of that time. So even though we've got an artwork that is a painting, it's all the process of the interaction with people and the community and yourself, George, and everyone else here that's created the painting. So the painting is just the final product of a long process of, a, of several days here and working with people. Can you just tell us a bit of moment, you know, when we were in Bill Allen Lookout? Yes. Maybe just uh, how it works, you know, how did it happen? What you remember, what a, a, a memory right now coming like this? Uh, one of the funny things was uh, we were looking at the landscape and I, w I was trying to visualize what had happened and, and obviously a fire had gone through at the end of the year and all of a sudden I realized that a lot of the land had been burnt but on the, on the outside the land wasn't burnt and then looked at the rock formations um, and then we spoke about things in the landscape that were there, dark figures moving around and uh, I think we had a conversation about the Yeti and things like that, so it was quite funny. We were fixing the, pay we were fixing the landscape, we were looking at the things, you were shaping up the hills yeah. and suddenly as a calm and just shake us up. Oh, one, one of the ladies said, oh, there, yeah. there, there, there's a, a yowie. Can you see? see the Can you yowie? see? Come to me, come sit next to me. You see there's a shadow there? I it's said, moving, yeah. it's looking at us, it's looking at us. It's creating the essence of that, the holistic essence of that landscape. And it's the little bits you put together that bring in the, the, the bits that make up the whole. So it's, it's a holistic thing. It's not capturing exactly, it's the essence of capturing it. It's funny, yeah? when we do painting like this and when we try to catch something, our something that tend to be fixed and like this very um, stay in one time, you know, everything starts to move around actually. Yeah and the landscape start to be alive in front of your eyes. That's right. And that's the moment when you're sketching. Yes, exactly, exactly. I think what you want to understand when we start to talk about the artist and why we need to make them travel is to find them a, a kind of association in many ways, what we do here and what the artist does do here, you know, and when they paint is very different than what you expect in terms of Aboriginal art. They paint because they like it, because they're together, because it's a safe place, because they can share the stories. Of course, they're not unhappy to sell a bit, you know, but the motivation doesn't come from neither the money nor a claim for a land or a story, you know. On this one, it's a tricky one because I don't think what I'm doing is preserving culture. I give all the keys and all the support that people are to feel comfortable with what they're doing, you know. I'm just trying to apply them the rules of work professionally, put a lot of heart in what you're doing, and it will make you feel stronger and you'll feel comfortable with what you're dealing with. But freeing the individuals, make them doing their paintings, make them feel comfortable with what they're doing, is my best way to help them out, to just rise as individuals and then, you know, carry on the culture. Culture needs to be alive, needs to change, not to be just a fixed tradition.